Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you one of the earliest, best builds that you can have right here in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now, this build is pretty cool and it's going to top you off around 856 defense plus 13 elements on a fire, plus 10 on the water, plus 11 on the thunder, plus 5 on the ice, and plus 4 on the dragon. This right here is a very good early on build, as you can see. You're going to have plus 6 on the defense boost. We're going to have plus 5 on the attack with this build. We're going to have plus 3 on the health, so we won't have to worry about anything when it comes to the battle. Plus 3 on the part of breaker damage, so we can easily get those parts. We got ice damage, we got plus 2 agitator, so we can get plus attack defense when the monsters are enraged. And if you have explosive power, this is the build because we're going to have plus 50% explosive power. We got plus one on the divine blessing so we can reduce 15% of damage. And we have mine eye ballistics. This is personally just for me for my lance and the free meal that's coming from a decoration. Now to run out this build, we're going to have plus one on the weakness exploit so we can increase infinity and then plus one on the critical boost as well so we can increase that critical damage. Pretty nice. All right, now for the helmet, we have the clockwork helmet. In here, we're going to have one part breaker and two agitator and the two free slots. We're going to plug in the health boost so we can get this for our build. All right, pretty straightforward. Now for the next piece, we are going to have ourselves the clockwork coil. Now the clockwork coil is going to have two slots in it. It's going to come with two parts part breaker and the two free slots. We're actually going to throw in one of those jewels. And this is one of those four rarity jewels. So I'm getting a free meal and an attack boost in here. Okay, so you can just plug in an attack boost if you don't have, you know, something like that. And then round it all off, we're going to throw in that extra health boost so we can have the plus 50 on the health. Now for the clockwork greaves, here we're going to have the bombardier coming into effect. We have the crunch boost we have the divine blessing and another defense boost right here now the bomber and the creep boost is going to come with the clock creep greaves and the two pieces that we're plugging in is the divine blessing and the defense boost and then last but not least we got the high metal braces here it comes with two plus on the defense and two plus on the ice attack and we got two free slots the two free slots we're going to plug in one defense boost and one weakness exploit all right so once you have all of this done, you are almost pretty much good to go. The only thing left is the bone mail. Well, the bone mail is going to have plus one on the attack, and then on the defense, we're going to have plus two. So we're going to plug in two into those slots on the bone mail to get our build going. All right, so there you have it. Now, in order to craft these things, as you can see right here, it's a rarity nine, and all of these pieces you can easily get early in game, as well as this. You see, it's pretty much different materials that you're gonna collect out there when you're mining or going through bone pals. Now, alternatively, for the helmet, you can go with the pearl springs, which is gonna cost you some pearl tickets. You should see an annotation pop up right here on the screen showing you how you can easily get this pearl spring helmet. Helmet. Now, if you do decide to roll with this helmet, it's going to top you off around 827 on defense and these other stats as you can see right here. Now, it still is pretty good early on because you're going to have that plus two recovery and it pairs really well with anything health related, especially with the health booster as you can see. All right, now for the rest of our items, we're going to have the clockwork gear. Now, the clockwork gear is pretty cool. Now you should see something pop up on the screen right here. This is going to tell you everything about the clockwork gear. As you can see right here, it is a rarity 10, but it's actually have a high defense boost. And it's actually higher than some of the other mushrooms that you're going to be fighting later on. So it's going to help you out a lot. Now this right here is the Steamworks. Now like I said, you're going to have that annotation that popped up. It's going to tell you everything you need about the Steamworks, because there, that's what we're going to need to get our Steam tickets. Now the Steam tickets, 
easily be getting there and the rest of these materials as you can see right here is stuff that you're going to get from gathering from the different bone piles as well as the mining outputs right here in monster hunter world so yeah that's pretty much going to end it for this video it's a very good early build right here in monster hunter world just for you so as always if you are new to the channel welcome don't forget to subscribe and hey if you want to help out the channel in a video you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video thank you for everybody for all your love and support and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later